This was the last game I expected to get a mod. Down well, pretty simple. You're going down a well and you have gun boots. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's a pretty pure arcade style game. Descent, and they added some new stuff. They added a victory lap feature. The only example I can think of is Binding of Isaac where you're really strong at the end and you can just go play another whole run with upgrades you currently have. The way they balance that is they activate hard mode for the second lap, which is notoriously difficult. The creator of this mod is Virtual Virtues. Another great thing they added is like, look, this, just look at this starting area, completely different. And I think it swaps out from run to run. Cartwheel style, riskier combos, greater rewards. Okay, so there's a few effects that you can enable. There's instability, all bullets explode. Shops are free, but at a cost. I had tried this out, incredibly confusing. It just changes the color palette every time you do something. Let's try the angry shopkeepers. Oh, what? Oh, this is like a bouncy platform. It looks like the default weapon they give you for the cartwheel style is sort of like this angled laser. It's very similar to another style called Noppy, which is probably the worst one. What? Is Jelly Bean? Oh my, okay. So as soon as you go through the door, he'll jump out and murder you. Goodness gracious. Oh, they move so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay. They move very differently. Let's see what's on the surface. <laughs> Just like on big wooden pole. Like a, sh like a Shaolin, I think. The one change I would make to this level would be that the bounce blocks actually would refill your charge, because they currently don't, which is a very strange mechanic. I actually once submitted, uh, for some reason, I decided I'm going to do a speedrun of a game that is not well known or like well run, and I chose Downwell, which was the worst possible idea ever. I I even submitted it on speedrun.com. Speedrunning this game is terrible. You're just trying to fall as fast as you can through the levels without taking damage, which is pure luck. There's one saving grace though. There's a little Easter egg. At the end of the game, if you did not go into the, any of the side alcoves to get pick up any gun modules or gems, then the creator uh, put in an apple which will increase your hp and the amount of charges you have extra hit per area that is interesting let's try this it's not like hp it's just you get one armor per area i like this explosive shot though it's like a doesn't keep you airborne as well but very very potent Oh gosh. Oh, that's that's where the tough feet comes in handy. Deadlier bullets. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich. That's interesting. I wonder how noticeable that is. Oh gosh. Oh, I, forgot. I keep forgetting about the shopkeeper. I just Oh wait. Does it come out? Okay, here it comes. Oh my, how do you avoid that? That hitbox was absolutely massive. It's going to be like the shopkeeper in Spelunky. You're going to die to, the, to that shopkeeper at least 20 times before you ever find out how to pull the wool over his eyes. Randomized stats. What does that mean? Does it swap stats between the gun boot charge and the health? It gave me extra health. Wait, shop. Let's try and bum rush it. Okay. We're we're out. Just gotta run in, run out. Oh yeah, 16 combo. Oh we can get we can get double rewards. That's the cartwheel style. With the cartwheel style, it will double those, which means I really need to be focusing on combos. Oh my I and I think we've seen all that we need to see here with the the shopkeeper. Oh, this is a new idle animation. He's just digging through the well. All bullets explode. Mess around with that. 
Oh, the... Hmm, the explosions are somewhat of a problem. It's the Michael Bay mode. Do people... Do people still make those jokes? Michael Bay jokes? What was the last... What was the last Michael Bay movie? They're still making Transformers movies. They ran out of so many ideas for cars that it's Transformers animals now. Low health, double gems. Gain 400 gems. How much low health are we talking? Like, does it bring me down to one? Let's try it. Two. Oh, two maximum. That is... That is rough. It's an interesting gamble to take that. Okay. Now we are friends again. So. Always good to buy the charges. The explosive bolts just seem to be extremely useful. It's, it's just a straight up upgrade. Okay. The exploding bullets thing is a little bit overpowered. It's kind of like easy mode. In a way. That, that was one bullet. That was one bullet. One bullet can insta-kill an enemy. That's a tad ridiculous. I could showcase this one. It's a little bit trippy. Just for safety's sake, don't watch this if you are prone to seizures. The main cool thing you can unlock in this game, which doesn't really change gameplay that much, is these color palettes. Which, you know, change up the feel. But it's kind of disconcerting when it changes every time you kill an enemy. But it's kind of cool. It means I can see all the palettes without having to unlock them on this version. Oh, my eyes. It would be nice if you could outlaw certain palettes, because... Some of them are designed to be just terrible. It's like pink on yellow. Let's bounce from stomping. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, you just fall dead weight. Gain four charge. This is the best ability ever. <laughs> this is the best upgrade. Four free charge is nuts. There's never going to be a time I do not take that one. This is a really cool effect. I don't know how the creator coded this in. To have the palette change every time you kill an enemy, but really good idea. Makes this game a lot flashier. The visual clarity is just not going to be here for this run. What we'll probably see is the skeleton that throws bones. Because as you know, every every monster just likes to throw pieces of itself at other beings. Better weapon modules. This probably means you either get more health or more charge from weapon modules. Which, if so, sounds phenomenal. Gimmick of this one? Uh, don't drown. That's that's it. Do not drown underwater. You can collect bubbles from clams. Because everybody knows that if you're drowning under the sea, just crack open a clam and suck some air out of it and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Little known fact, you can refill your bubble from the shopkeeper's bubble. Oh yeah, and if you don't have enough money and you try to buy something, I'll just say, too poor. I always thought it'd be a cool mechanic that if you could steal from the shopkeeper, because it's like in a glass display case, but now that I'm actually seeing it in a mod, I'm not so certain it was it was what I truly wanted. It's the ability to instantly die every time you enter a shop. That's, hmm. That's a tough one for me there, pal. Because this game's not like Spelunky, it's, it's a little bit more forgiving. Like your HP actually means something, whereas in Spelunky you'll have 10 HP built up. And if you get hit by a bomb, you're dead. It doesn't matter. Or if you fall onto spikes, or any of the other million ways you can die in Spelunky, or Spelunky 2. That's, that's a game I really can't recommend. One thing about this game, this character I'm playing as is named Well Taro. He's actually featured in two indie-related fighting games, one of which is deemed terrible by most people. It's called Indie Pogo, and the whole concept of that game is it's a fighting game, but everybody has to be jumping all the time like they're on a pogo stick, which wasn't well received. Then somebody decided, let's make a Smash Brothers for the indie titles out there. Octodad, um, this game, Down Will, Will Taro, called Framemakers. It's currently in early access right now, which, you know, I wouldn't recommend jumping on the train until it's out of early access. And it looks good. Unlike the other 
sort of platform fighters out there, which are usually either very pixelated and okay, or doesn't feel like it has enough punch to it. It looks really good. The art style, the mechanics, it, it from what I've seen, looks really solid. And there's only six main characters in that game, by the way. And Weltaro is one of them. Although they may release more characters in the future. I mean, sort of how that is. It's very niche. I like when there's a collaboration of various lesser known franchises into some larger whole. Uh, case in point would be Poker Night at the Inventory or Poker Night 2, where you play poker with various character from either gaming franchises, t TV shows, like cartoons, or movies. It has this like weird underground feel to it. Alright, Zone 4. It looks really weird when it's on the white palette, but you're just in a constant freefall with the occasional object to stomp on. Take it. Oh, right. T plus. Some of these upgrades are a little bit too strong. Because it just means you get double the amount of bonus you used to. So this mod's great for people who want a little bit of an easier downwell experience. Oh, this guy is new. Been expecting you. Who are we? That's not important. Would you be interested in a second lap? A grand finale? Not right now. I feel like I'm too too beefed up. This game came out in 2015, so it's been eight years, <laughs> and which is why I'm so surprised that Virtual Virtues came uh, came along and made a mod for this game. <laughs> grave. Well, this is new. Just seen by somebody's grave. New area. Hmm. <laughs> it's like the one SpongeBob episode. Handstand style is the worst. You know all those cool upgrades we had during the last run? This, this guy gets none of them because he decides I have gun boots and I will use my hands instead. It's a hard mode. These eyeballs are here on level one. There's so many enemies. Like, truly so many. And you have so little charge to deal with them. I, I have eight blasts in my, my gun boots. And that's just not nearly enough to deal with all this junk in here. So you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Double jump on that charge is also good. Uh, I'm gonna try that. Okay, so it gives you a little... It's like an extra little boost. Drill boots. Destroy nearby blocks. We have not seen this. Let us try this. How does that work? Oh. Whoa! It's like the Miner's Helmet in Crypt of the Necrodancer. You can just... Just gets rid of them when you're near them. Of course, it gives you less landing spots, I guess. What's hard about this area? Those spike floors? They just go on a set world timer now, not when you just step on them. So now they're an actual threat. Right, another thing. Eyeballs come up from the top. Because they're like, you know, this area was not hard enough. We need to have... The eyeballs come from the top as well. They also have more HP. They d they decided let's give let's give the eyeballs more HP. The ones that come from the top in a game where you have guns that fire only downward. You need health. I feel like I'm dropping like a rock. Hmm. Is it just me or is the game speeding up? I feel like the game's running faster. It also feels like I can't jump as high. That's... something's not right. Oh, the random stats! Oh no! The random stats upgrade can affect your jump height. That's... that's a huge change. Oh no. I think our drop speed is faster too. So we have lower jumps and faster drop speed. <laughs> Which is terrible. I feel like a, I feel like a rock, like more so than the boulder style. This is like a lead weight. See, I, I can't even make this jump without, <laughs> without wall jumping, which is not too many people know about. It doesn't come up that often because you can only wall jump when you have full charge. I need mobility. I just became fat or just really, really dense. Well, Taro, a very dense mass. I fall way too fast to see what's coming. There's nothing else in the game that like changes these stats besides the playstyle. 
like being the boulder style means you drop slower being the levitate style means you float more a little bit but i never thought that could be attributed to an upgrade for sure oh gosh so much for keeping combos this run it's not possible when you're made of lead oh you're right the bullets are scattered they're not in any convenient places anymore there's just a bubble here and there floating around so it's even worse and the your meter drains faster this is one place where it's actually good to drop like a rock although i'm almost dead um uh, chance to dodge i will take it i don't know what chance to dodge means you just dodge the damage if so how's that any different from having the armor it's not guaranteed If this is incomprehensible, I'm, I apologize. Uh, truly, the multicolor mode is not good for hard mode. It's just, what is going on? How am I still alive? We are broke because we cannot keep a combo, which means we cannot get a ton of extra cash. No, I didn't see that one. Kind of tough to see the enemies you can't jump on when they're constantly shifting pallets all the time. Uh -huh. Almost at the end. Ah, uh, yeah. Shoot. 